Okay, number bubble seven A you can do on your own. So let's go ahead and debug this one. Find and fix the problem that is causing the bug. All right. Here's our code. And look, we're missing our quotation mark right there. And now our balloons show up. It's good to go. Debug. Alright, here's our code. And look, it says SCR instead of SRC. Right, so these little mistakes can break your code. Now it's working. Right, so all you have to do is recognize the patterns. Carrot IMG SRC equals quotes. Find and fix the problem that's causing the bug. Okay, we're mi it's the Pikachu one. So here's our code. And look, we have the spelling of Game Boy. So it's trying to grab this Game Boy with a capital G. But our actual file is Game Boy capital G capital B. Right, so we can either rename this tap capital B and then it shows up or we could have renamed this file to match this right it could have gone either way so as long as it matches you're good Okay, they just want you to add the alternative, so, alt, equals, And then what are we going to call this? Quotation mark lanterns. Yeah. And then quote. And there's our alt for the first one. And then this one will be Eiffel Tower. So if I wanted to, I can just copy this, right? Copy all of number 9. And then add it to 14. Oop. I have an extra carrot in the end of my Eiffel, though. Look at that. There we go. Now we're in business. And then I'll change the text to Eiffel... Power. Right. And then I can just copy this. Control C. Hit enter. Paste it into 19. Get rid of that carrot at the above uh, next to Brazil.jpg. Right, so I have clean code. And then the picture is statue. Cool. 
And that's all there is to that. Adding an image to the link. Let's check it out. Okay, so they want you to add gymnast.gif, right? So we'll go ahead and add it to the top of this. So I'm going to add line 6, and I'm going to put in my code, which is caret image. And then remember, you can also copy this from another source if you wanted to. It's totally okay. And then it's called Gymnast, G-Y-M-N-A, oh, there it is, Gymnast.gif, I'm going to hit enter, and now I'm going to do that alternative text, A-L-T equals, quote, um, Moving gymnast quote and then close it off the carrot and there it is. All right, we're good. Now we're going to add a new image. Okay, add an image to the end of the cake recipe. So we need to find a cake picture. Okay, no big deal. We'll go to Pixabay, because we like that site. And we'll find a cake picture. Come on. There's a delightful, I believe that's a champagne cake. So I'm going to click free download. I'm going to download the small one. Right here's my credit. So I'm just going to copy the credit. Copy. I'm going to save my file. So I've got my credit copied. I've saved my file. Now I'm going to go to my code. Now I need to add the image right to my files. So I go to add image, upload the file. It's in my downloads. Here it is, birthday cake. Uploading the file. It's there. Right here it is. But look, it's a horrible, horrible name. So I'm just going to rename this cake much easier to type in now let's check out our code here and now let's add the picture so we gotta drop in that SRC code carrot IMG now SRC choose the cake hit enter drop in that alt equals cake and then close it and there's our cake now we need to add the credit Make that P for the paragraph. Paste the credit in there. Close it off with the slash. And we are golden. Here's our credit. Here's our picture. And everything is nice. All right, this one they want you to add a picture. So we'll go back to Pixabay. And just choose something, whatever you like. 
right? And you can just pick any one. This right here, actually, is my son when he was, I think, nine years old. So I'm going to use this one. Download the low, uh, low res one. Here it is. I'm going to save it. Control C to copy. Now I'm going to add the image. It's in my downloads. Here it is, soccer. And now I'm going to change this to a more reasonable name. Rename soccer. Now here's my index. Now I'm going to add a picture here. And again, that's the SRC, all that noise. IMG space whoops, space S R C. Here's the soccer. And then I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to drop in my alt equals. Boy playing soccer. Close it off. Here's my picture. Now I'm going to give the credit. Carrot P close carrot. Paste that credit in there. Carrot slash P carrot. And there it is. I've got my picture. I've got my credit. And everything is lovely. Finished. All right, bonus activities. Okay, on this one, if your picture is too big, you can make it smaller. Right, so that's all they're saying here. The height and width attributes. So the easiest thing to do would be copy them, 10 and 11, right? Control C, and then we have to get rid of that closing carrot and then paste it boom right now it made the second one corgi in the tent the same size and then we close it off we'll do the same thing with this one right so i get rid of the closing carrot hit enter paste it and there we go now they're all the same size looks a lot cleaner easy stuff right so the thing to know is you have to make sure and get rid of that closing carrot because you're adding more and then close the carrot at the end that's all this one is about. Hey, this one, they just want you to drop in a new video. Right, so this is the embed code that comes in YouTube to embed a video. It's very similar to the um, source, right? You've got your SRC here. But instead, you've got this little iframe, right? They're saying... This is the size of the frame we're going to use for this video. So to do this, it's very simple. Here's our playlist. Choose one you want to uh, embed. Click share. But instead of using the video, we're going to use the embed code. All right, so click embed. Here it is. Copy it. Close it up. Let's go back to our code. And then let's hit enter. And then uh, number seven, we're just going to paste it. And hopefully it works. And yes, it did. All right, so we just pasted the embed code from YouTube right directly into our HTML code. No big deal. They both work. Nice.
Make an illustrated story. Use these new skills to create an illustrated story. Create an illustrated story of your choice using text and images. Yikes, this is going to be a long one. Actually, no, let's make it short. Okay. Frog. And then maybe illustrations. Here we go. All right, these don't look like the same types of frogs. Are these two separate? Oh, here we go. All right. So I'm going to save this frog first. Save the file. I'm going to grab the credit. Now I'm going to the picture in here insert or add image upload file looks good I'm gonna call this color frog Whoa, what did I do here what did I do Color. Okay, I'll just call it color. All right, first thing I'll do is I'll add the credit. So I'm gonna make my paragraph, paste the credit, close P. Okay, there's my credits done. Now I'm gonna add my picture. So we do that IMG business. IMG space. SRC. Here's the color. And then at the Alt ALT equals color frog. Okay, there's my color frog. And then I'll do a little paragraph. Once upon a time, there was a frog. Close it up. All right, once upon a time, there was a frog. And then, paragraph, he was scared by a ghost. He was scared by a ghost. And now let's get the uh, colorless frog. Download the image, get that credit again. He was scared by a ghost. And I'm going to add that credit. P. Close P. Okay. He was spared, scared by a ghost. Let's do another paragraph. He lost all his color from fear. He lost all his color from fear. 
And then we'll add the frog with the no color. Upload file. All right, here's the no color. I'll just call it colorless. Here's my index. Okay, once upon a time there was a frog. He was scared by a ghost. He, he was scared by a ghost, period. Now we'll add the picture. Ooh, IMG space src colorless enter alt equals colorless frog colorless frog quote close quote, close okay once upon a time there was a frog. He was scared by a ghost. He lost all his color from fear. The end. Right? So there's our story. Once upon a time there was a frog. He was scared by a ghost. We give credit here. He lost all his color from fear. The end. And here's our credit for this one. Done deal. How to guide. Create an illustrated how to guide to help someone learn a new skill. Okay, on this one. I'm going to let you guys do it on your own because it's exactly like the frog one, except you're just doing the how-to guide. So the easiest way I would say is to do a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. All right, so find a jar of peanut butter, find a jar of jam or jelly, and find some pictures of bread, find some pictures of a, a knife, a butter knife, and uh, do instructions on how to create a PB&J or something like that. Let's do it.